Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ellie, and today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a makeup video. I'm going to be doing a springtime glowy makeup look that shouldn't take longer than like 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to put the timer on, and I really want to try and create something that's not going to take long, that's not going to cost a lot of money, that is just using sort of drugstore products, and that's going to be really easy to do. I'm no professional in makeup. In fact, I don't wear makeup every day. This is just stuff that I've got already stuff that most people will have in their makeup bag already and if I can do it then anyone can do it so on my face already I've washed it and I'm using the Clinique clarifying twice a day exfoliator and the Clinique dramatically different moisturizer that as you can see they're very empty um, they've been very well loved I bought the gift set so that I could try out both of these products without spending a fortune and I love them so I'm gonna be repurchasing these for sure repurchasing these for sure. I'm gonna put the timer straight on. I'm gonna aim for no more than 15 minutes because obviously as I talk about it, it's gonna take a little bit longer. So let's get my timer. <laughs> okay, go. The first thing I'm using is this Kind and Free Moisturizing Skin Tint. I did a review on this on my channel, so go and check that out. I wore it for 11 hours and I bloody am obsessed with that. I think it's so good. It's so good. It might be a little bit pale for me, actually. I might have to get um, a darker colour today in town. Okay, we're on 30 seconds in already. This isn't good. Fringe looks nice, Ellie. I'm gonna get my beauty blender. two minutes already and I've not even blended this out but this is the most important bit is getting your base right my arm's aching <sighs> now for under eyes I'm going to use the Maybelline anti-age eraser concealer and I'm just buffing it all out with a damp beauty blender the powder I'm going to be using to set it is the RCMA No Colour Original Powder. Right, we are on four minutes. Whilst that's setting, I'm going to use the Gimme Brow Brow Gel in shade number five. I've had this for a while, so it might be a little bit old. It might not be as good as it used to be, but it'll do. To be fair, it's all right. I just thought it might be a little bit dried out. This has got little brow fibres in it, so it just makes your brows look a little bit fuller. Um, it just gives it a little bit of something, but it is really natural. I wouldn't say it like hold your hairs up. It's not very like strong in that sense, but it does thicken them out and give them a little bit of colour. Okay, we're on six minutes. Okay, so whilst that under eye is still setting, I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow. I'm just using this Too Faced Let's Play palette, and I'm going to be using this like corally orange colour and this creamy pinky colour. Okay, so I'm just covering my lid with the like nudie colour. And then I'm using this orangey colour for the corners. Ooh. And like doing that. <laughs> so just start in the corner there. And then I bring it in like that. Then I'm just gonna go over that middle section. take that orange again and do underneath my eye I'm 
Okay, I'm just wiping away all that excess powder. I'm gonna move on to bronzer. We're on nine minutes now. So for bronzer, I'm just using this MUA bronze. It's really natural in Solar 100. Okay, for bronzer, we're gonna be using the Benefit Coralie Star in this lovely, like, orangey color. Well, coral color. I'm really bad with words, guys, sorry. I say the same descriptive words over and over and over again. It's nice to use, like, a different color bronzer for a change instead of, like, pink. I like to put quite a lot of blusher on, just give myself a bit of colour, especially when your foundation's a little bit lighter, because you want to put that colour back in your face. And then for highlighter, I'm going to be using this Soap and Glory Peach Party. Oh, I love this, it's so pretty. So next up, I'm using the Kind and Free Mascara from the Rimmel Vegan range. I actually really like this. I've used it quite a lot. I use this most days. I find it very lengthening and it doesn't clump your lashes together, which is really nice. Right, we're on 13 and a half minutes now, so we're not doing too bad at all. We've just got to do mascara, lipstick, and then we can go over any finishing touches. Look at that mascara, it's so good. When I first used this, I was like, mm, it's okay, it's nothing special. Like, I don't rate it that much, but like, I actually do. I really like it. I've been using it more than my, like, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is mental, because that's like 30 quid. For bottom lashes, we're just gonna put on some white eyeliner, I think this is just a Rimmel one, and some brown mascara for your bottom lashes. And this is actually a brow gel, but we're gonna just use it as mascara. I feel like this is so rushed. <laughs> Brown mascara on the bottom just gives you such a more natural look, especially for every day. Oh, that's good, Ellie. Put the mirror in front of your face. And for lipstick, I'm gonna be using the Revolution Pro in Naked. That's also like a really nice pinky corally color. And for gloss, I'm gonna be using this Millie McIntosh sort of pinky peachy sort of color. I love this color. For spring, it's so nice. Oh my god, right, I'm sweating. I actually broke a sweat doing that. Right, so we are on 15, it's covered in powder, 15.57. So I'm gonna say that that was definitely 15 minutes or less. Obviously we've got to take into consideration the talking, the dropping everything because I'm very clumsy. Um, but, I really like this makeup. I know it's really basic. I know that any makeup artists out there are probably screaming at me like, blend that eyeshadow, blend this, blend that. But you know, it took me 15 minutes, so we can't be too fussy. Obviously, if you have a few minutes spare, then you can like take your brushes and like blend everything out a little bit better. But would I go out like this? Absolutely. Absolutely I would and I just really like that the colors are a little bit different from my everyday I normally go for pinks so like my blusher and my lipstick is more like corally colors corally orange colors rather than pinky colors And yeah, it's just I think it's a little bit softer a little bit more natural and a little bit more every day Everything I use is really affordable and you can get them in your like local drugstore like super drug and boots that sort of place But yeah, 
that is literally it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me i upload videos every single week don't forget to click the notification bell as well so you'd be notified every time i upload and i'll see you on the next one bye